So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab and open the cloud console incognito window now here it is getting signed in automatically if it asks for username and password you can refer to the lab instructions now just wait now click on i understand and basically here you have to just activate the cloud shell so let me show you how you have to activate it just click on this button and it will activate the cloud shell here basically you have to click on continue and authorize yourself so let me show you how you have to do just click on continue just click on authorize click on authorize button Now in the description box, first of all let me increase the font size. In the description box I have shared the repository. You have to come over here and export the zone first of all. And here basically you have to export the zone. And for the zone you have to just come to the lab instruction and find the zone. You can just paste it directly over here also. Because I am sharing the easy method. So just to find it or you can just use Ctrl F and find the zone. You can see here we have, we have in the task number 4 the zone. Copy it carefully, it might be different for you and then paste over here on the basically here. If you are using notepad then it's well and good. Now here hit enter if you have done this. Okay, now just paste it like this and then again come to the repository and just copy it. Now basically I will explain what we are doing because many of you are worried about this. So basically the first thing is that we are creating the application and then creating a storage bucket. Okay. We are creating a storage bucket you can see they have already mentioned in their documentation then how to create the storage bucket using the CLI if you want you can just understand it so basically many of you are worried about this github github URLs also that will it cause any issue so basically if you are understanding each and everything there is no issue because here they have themselves only mentioned how to create using the CLI you can see for Java Python C Go all these things are available over here you can try to understand read the documentation we have already said in this video only now here the next step is that we will create the instance template all the labs have a CLI mode also you must have seen cloud function quick start cloud function quick start command line storage command line CLI SDK command line all things are available on the course only so we are just following the catalog only there is no issue now if you try to check the score you will get the score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab do like the video and subscribe the channel and for skill badges check the description box thank you have a great day